Yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the new Sapphire Emmanuel quickly. I'm honestly pretty intrigued by this IQ card because he looks like a great offensive Sapphire point guard. Like he's going to be a fun card to use. I know his release is on quick and I know that his release has been very fast the last couple of years. We'll see what it's looking like this year. And I honestly don't even know what it looked like last year because I don't remember using an IQ card last year. But in 2K22, I remember him having a card early that had a really fast, good release. And I'm interested to see if this card is good as well. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And help me push towards the 15,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's take a look at IQ. So 6-2 PG, 86 offense, 81 defense with an 86 driving layup, 85 three ball, 80 mid-range, 82 free throw, 65 driving dunk is high enough to throw it down, and 86 ball handle is high enough to timing burst. So defensively, he's not great. 79 steal, 80 perimeter. Um 40 block 37 interior he's actually a pretty good defender in real life but in 2k he's not and i guess that's okay because he's a sapphire so they can't make him too suit 82 speed and excel 76 speed of ball wish that was maybe a little faster like 85 across the board really nice 80 lateral quickness though is good and uh seven golds nine silvers six bronzes he won't do much defensively i'm just hoping he's pretty good offensively he's got catch and shoot claymore green machine guard up float game free points and spot finder silver agent three killer combos needle threader special delivery unpluckable two-step open looks blow by and triple strike and bronze bronze blinders Handles for days, speed booster, pick dodge, a relay passer, and hyperdrive. Have to see how he moves, number one, and what his release and his animations are looking like, number two, to determine how good he is as like a Sapphire scoring point guard. Obviously, at this point, I feel like Sapphires and Emeralds, for the most part, with the, with a couple of exceptions, aren't really truly top cards in the game anymore. He moves like okay. I would say his movement is it's it's, it's decent-ish, but it's not great. Um, it's not going to be incredible. Now, that release is really dang fast. That is a very, very fast release, especially for a PG, so... That might be kind of nice because you are not going to need much space to get off the screen and just pull his release because it is stupid fast. One of the fastest I think I've used this year, actually. So same side burst into a quick stop three, something like that is going to be really nice. Uh, movement wise, like I said, it's not insane, but with that fast for release offensively, he's going to be nice and he's going to be able to attack the room pretty well as well. 65 driving deck, more than high enough to get it to get the throwdowns this year. And really, you're not getting a ton of contact dunks most of the time anyway. So 65 driving deck at this point on a PG, I'm fine with that. As long as he can dunk the ball when he has an open lane, I'm cool with it offensively with a release this fast as well as the ability to dunk at the pg position and decent movement he's gonna be all right i know the stats are insane but he's gonna be a pretty a pretty good offensive card defensively he's not gonna be great but just like with tyrese maxley a lot of knicks fans out there a lot of people are gonna want to use this iq card and they made him usable good offensively so that i like is he an elite card no is he gonna be fun to use offensively 100 percent let's hop into a game see what tyrese maxley can do our opponent has Kyrie, D. Wade, Scotty Pippen, Cliff Robinson, Anthony Davis. In fact, he's got Cliff Robinson. I mean, he's grinding clutch time online. Love to see it. Um, and that's a great car, and this is a really good team. Gives us a good matchup. Honestly, Kyrie at the PG position is kind of the ideal matchup for me among the top tier elite point guards when it comes to me trying to use a scoring guard myself. And I did decide to put IQ on D. Wade instead of Kyrie just to see, because I think defensively D. Wade's a little bit less of a threat, offensively anyway, for him than Kyrie is. That's a good take, kind of, not really. I honestly don't think that was that good of a take. Should have probably been a block, but we got a little unlucky. He got a foul call out of it, and he gets himself a bucket on the first possession of the game. Not going to worry too much about it. That was a little bit of a fluky bucket, and as long as he keeps getting fluky buckets, I'm going to be A-OK -okay with it. Tyrese, Mac or Ty Tyrese Maxey. I'm not playing with Tyrese Maxey anymore. Manuel quickly immediately drives downhill and gets himself a layup to start off the game, though, which is a very, very solid start to the game. Contest here on D. Wade. Get through the screen. Just compete defense. Oh, hold on. That was actually really nice defense by Tyrese. By Emmanuel quickly. I'm going to call him Tyrese Maxey 10 times in this video because it's in my brain now, so it's just going to happen. Now they're going to have to accept that. Stop and pop. Ooh, good contest by Kyrie Irving. He got through that really, really effectively, actually, and got back and contested. I kind of was expecting a wide open shot there um, behind the screen, and Kyrie did a really good job contesting through it, but he hits the three in transition with Scotty Pippen. Good shot. Got to give credit. And uh, same side speed burst. Attack the rim here. Kyrie is just staying. Are you really... You're telling me Kyrie Irving is moving that quickly laterally to stay in front that whole possession. That is, I couldn't get any sort of blow by at all with him, Kyrie having like no good defensive badges. It is what it is. That's fine. I thought that was honestly a pretty good shot, but a pretty good take. But burst here, stop and pop. Ky a IQ, is that the shot? Dang it. Oh, it's releases so fast. If you get any sort of contest, it gets sped up to the point where it's just uh, unscorable, honestly. So we're getting popped, and I just don't think... I don't know. I'm struggling to score the ball so far, hoping that we can find our groove offensively a little bit more, get off a screen and maybe create a little bit more separation. Um, he is. Why is Kyrie hooping so good on defense right now? I'm a little rattled. This is this is a little crazy. Back up top. 
pump fake um nothing going at all now i gotta try to go create with kd or something stop pop <laughs> you should not be getting a 13 percent contest and completely screwing up my release contesting from that far away but the gameplay is broken so that's what i'm talking about when i say the gameplay is broken was that a bad shot by kd was it the great shot no should it have been makeable i think 100 it was an open shot and they gave him a big contest and made it impossible for me to green by slowing down my jump shot massively so attacking here i thought i could have walked back and tried to create some separation between the legs again attack hit our pop he's just playing really good on ball defense on a Clemenio quickly making me work big time so we'll take our assist good bucket there and offensively he's doing his job so far um hopefully can beat defenders off the dribble a little bit better in the second half of this game but good switch here no I'm not trying to oh give me a block dang it that's not what I'm trying to do defensively at all I bruh holy crap chill 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 just reset the ball and let's get into an offense push cross here attack the ram type bro Emmanuel quickly does not create separation I don't know why he has I feel like he should be able to create separation but right now he's just not creating any separation with his dribble moves maybe it's the the low speed of ball but I just can't get off of Kyrie right now and that's that's what's bothering me is that a defense a non-defensive PG like Kyrie is kind of just getting consistent stops which is not what you love to see uh switch this good D AK move laterally stay in front contest yo I clicked on two and he just doesn't step up and contest I clicked on two to contest on that move that's why I clicked on played it right and the defense the game just did not reward me good pass down to IQ do not get blocked left by a dude four inches shorter than you thank you Paul George he had inside position and he's got a huge height advantage should be able to get the stop there and he is good lateral movement stay in front wall up wall up wall the junk up KD wall the junk up KD let's go good defense time to get back get on the offensive end and really start to make some move uh can i get off a screen here and potentially get myself a three ball that is going to be the question the answer is no but i can get to the mid range and shoot a pull up it's just a little bit too close to the rim i'm going to be honest that's that's the problem right there um i just i can't i just can't get downhill well enough with this card he's not fast enough ah i want this card to be tough because the release is really fast but you have to be able to create separation to take advantage of it and right now have not been able to create that separation whatsoever good fading three right now but that opponent's a solid player and he's doing He's playing well, like he's doing a good job. And why am I blinking in the backcourt? I'm walking up the court blinking. I understand you're tired, but what? That's insane. If that if that's the way that if that's the way that's gonna play, <laughs> what is up with the stamina that I'm blinking in the backcourt? How is that even? How does that even make sense? I don't know. Um, he's shooting a very questionable fade that time. That was a bad shot. The first fade he shot was a good one. That one, not so much. Throw it to IQ, though. Four points, two assists. Let's get a pick and pop going here. He's going to reject the screen, attack downhill. This is where I need to dunk. Thank you. You get an open lane. Need you to dunk the ball. That is a good dunk right there. We got downhill, got past D-Wade. Got ourselves the dunk and uh, cut the lead down to two. So Emmanuel quickly... It's been a little bit of a rougher performance than we would have liked, but we're kind of hanging in there right now. That's great defense by KP, by, by KD. I clicked on a contested, and, or clicked on, played the, played the steal, and they don't give my steal, but he misses the mid-range, which is good. Push the ball up the court in transition. Let's see if we can find somebody open. Uh, bad pass. What am I doing? Oh, I just threw the most baited pass for no reason. That was just such a bad pass. I got lucky that he just... He completely screwed up there. Threw a backcourt pass. That's 100% his fault. Just a mental lapse. But um, 17 seconds left, guarded by Kyrie. Can we get past Kyrie and get downhill is the question. And with the amount of stamina that he has, the answer is looking like it's going to be no. Catch and shoot. Embiid. Bang! Embiid hits the night 18% clutch shot by Joel Embiid gives us the lead with four seconds left move to the rim contest 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 let's go we come out of there with a win not my best performance I gotta say we got what six points three assists three of seven oh two from three his release is fast but you got to be able to create separation and the speed of ball just feels a little slow right now he's not moving well enough to create the separation that I really need on the offensive end of the court still a fun card and I mean with the, how fast his release is he's good and offline but not quite as good as I was hoping let's hop back to the main menu let's review the card this iq card honestly is not as good as i was hoping the low speed of ball is noticeable i just he just isn't fast enough at his size he needs a little more speed to truly create the separation that i want to be able to get his shot off run more offense with him and use it more effectively on the offensive end in offline he's fine online i don't think he creates enough separation to justify a spot in the court and he's not a good enough defender to provide a ton of value on that end either as much as i wanted this card to be great I'm not really sure he is but that is what it is. Still, I mean, there are a lot of Knicks fans out there, and a lot of y'all probably want to use IQ. The release is very good. The movement is okay. 
Uh, and he can dunk the ball. He's just not an amazing offensive PG, and he doesn't do much defensively. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate you all. Peace.